Hey guys, welcome back to the channel today. My name is Osereme. If today is your first time on here, welcome. Please click on the subscribe button down there and turn on the notification bell as well so that you're the first to know when I post a new video. In this video today, I'm going to be making use of this beautiful fabric here to recreate this cow neck top. So to start off this tutorial, I cut out this piece of fabric here uh, with half my bust measurement and folded it into two. So this is half my bust measurement folded into two. So indirectly, this measurement here, nine inches, is four times my measurement. Then I measured out this length here, which is 19 inches. So what I'm going to do now, this is going to be the front part of this um, cow neck top. So what I'm going to do now is to measure out 5 inches away from the upper part of this dress here and I'm going to fold it in. So guys, you fold it in like this and then after this, I'm, I'm going to ensure that it's exactly 5 inches that I'm folding in. So this is what I have now, this is exactly 5 inches. So as you can see, I went ahead to fold it up a second time back to the way we started this tutorial. So this is what we have. Now at this point, I'm going to take my armhole measurement. From, from the upper part of this um, um, fold here, I took 5 inches as you can see and from this part, I measured out my um, shoulder measurement and I removed half 1 inch away from that. So shoulder measurement minus 1 inch is what I used here and I marked it as well. So from this point here, I'm just going to make a curve to give me my armhole. My chalk is very faint, but as you can see, I'm making a curve to give me the armhole. So what I'm going to do now is to cut this out with my scissors. So this is going to be the front part of this top and what I'm going to do now is to leave this aside. Um, first thing first before I do that, I'm going to take a measurement from the armhole part of this top here all the way to the end of the top. That is what I'm going to use to measure out the back part of this dress. So what I have here is 10 inches. So I'm going to measure out 10 inches now on the back part of this dress. And guys, the fabric I actually have here is not up to 10 inches because this piece I'm using to recreate this top is a tiny piece of fabric that remained from a dress I actually made for someone a, a week ago. So what I'm going to do now is to measure out um, my bust measurement, which I already did just now. And I'm going to measure out that, that same uh, measurement on this back piece and I'm going to cut it out but what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be joining another piece to the top of this dress so that it will be able to get to the 10 inches that I need for the back but firstly I'm going to cut out the um, bust parts like the measurement using the bust measurement to cut out the um, back piece before adding to the length of the top so this is actually the back piece I'm just going to use this remaining piece now to cut out exactly the same um, width of fabric just that the length will not be the same so I'm just going to cut this out now this is what I'm going to join to the other piece to make it longer so guys these are the two pieces that I'm going to join together to give me the back part of the stock so what I'm going to do now is to put it together right side facing each other like this and I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and I'm going to stitch it down all the way to the end here. So as you can see I've stitched it down here and this is what it looks like. It came out very beautiful and you can barely know that it's stitched down there because of the plenty patterns on the part on the dress. So what I'm going to do now is to bring back the front pattern here and I'm going to niche the part where I folded it in so that I will know exactly where it's supposed to be because right now I can barely even um, recognize the part where it was 
So now I put the front and the back patterns together so that I would be able to get the length for the back. The back is supposed to be 10 inches like we measured in the beginning. Because of the folding I did here, it's way more than that. So I'm going to measure out 10 inches on the back and I'm going to cut off the excess. So the back piece is the exact length that I need and this little piece I cut away is not going to be thrown away. I'm going to use it as a casing for the back of this dress later. So I'm just going to trim off the excess on this side and then we're going to work on the front pattern again. But before that, I went ahead to cut out this 17 inches long and 1 inch wide piece of fabric that is going to serve as the strap for this dress. So what I'm going to do now is to take this to the sewing machine and fold it in like this and like this and I'm going to fold it up again like this and I'm going to stitch it on this side very carefully all the way to the end so guys this is the strap after I've stitched it down on one side like I said so what I'm going to do now is to just cut this into two equal halves using my scissors So guys, I brought back the front part of the dress. This is how it looks like when it's all opened up. So I'm going to fold it back in. This was That was why I made that point there earlier with my scissors. Just so I'll be able to fold it in very easily when I want to. So now what I'm going to do is to put my strap here right at that point that I marked inside it like this. And I'm going to cover it up with the other piece that I folded it and I'm, what I'm going to do is to stitch this down on my sewing machine here and I'm going to do this exact same thing on this other part of the sleeve as well and I will stitch it down as well on my sewing machine so guys I've stitched it down on the sides as you can see and this is what it looks like and this right here is the back so we're going to leave this aside now and we're going to work on the front pieces or the back pieces sorry of this top so i'm going to place the right size face them together like this right size facing each other the front and the back pieces and i'm going to put the straps correctly on the back pieces like this and what i'm going to do is to use my tape measurement to measure about five inches away from the end of the fabric here on both sides and i'm going to do this on both sides Next thing I'm going to do is to use that tiny piece I cut away earlier to cover this up here like this. At this point, if you have your pins, please pin it down, especially at the place where the straps are, just so it doesn't um, pull off while you're sewing. So I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and stitch it together like this. So guys, I'll stitch it down and this is the back of the top with the um, straps attached to it so this is what it looks like after attaching the straps so the next thing I'm going to be doing now is to uh, um, work on the sides of the top so this is how the both of them look like together right now I'm just going to arrange it um, properly arrange the front and the back pieces together and we are going to work on the sides So guys, what I'm going to do now is to go to my sewing machine and stitch down the side and I'm going to stitch down the other part of the side as well. So guys, after stitching down the sides, this is what I have. This is how it looks like after I've stitched it down on the side. So what I'm going to do now is to go over again to my sewing machine and I'm going to work on the down of the dress as well as um, the finishing of the 
back of this lining the pieces where i use for lining here you can see it's very rough so i'm going to stitch this part down on the sewing machine just to ensure that it stays properly i'm going to do it on both the front and the back as well so guys this is the final product this is how it looks like after i've stitched it down here and here and yes i could get away with stitching it like this because this fabric is so uh, has so many patterns and my threads are not going to show so basically that's all for this video this is how to make a very simple cow neck top let me know what you think about this video in the comment section if today was your first time on here please subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell as well well i will see you in the next one bye guys